Uh, we're not yet live. Oh, we're live. We're <laughs> live. We're here. Yeah. And this, this is just when it tells me that my um, internet is a little bit unstable. But aren't we all at the moment? Definitely, I am. So people are commenting, so that means that we are properly 100% trillion percent live. Vic says evening all, and apparently 38 people are with us. Oh, that's lovely. Hello, 38 people. Well, it's gone up to 42 now, but we won't play that game. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when I start asking everyone where they are. Oh, yeah, well, I've seen somebody from Arizona. That's impressive. Oh, look, they're all here. Now, sadly, me and mum aren't together, as you can tell. Um, mum's in her oh. library and I'm in mine. But we were at the weekend. We saw each other at the weekend. We went to a concert and dance. Well, mum did more dancing than me. I, I definitely did. You've frozen on me, Simon. Am I back? Yeah, you're back. Oh, it'll possibly be a bit like that every so often, so we'll just have to grin and bear with it because I'm not near my router. <laughs> And that's very important. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you find that funny. But... <clears throat> so anyway, we're here basically to tell you all about prompts for um, book hibernation, the autumn edition, which is running from, this is very bad of me to not run through, Friday the 29th of October, so a week on Friday, until yeah. November the 13th, which is lucky for all of us almost funny about the number 13 and the way that we thought we'd do this is I asked my patrons and also asked out on Instagram for people to come up with prompts and I have a Patreon prompt cup and I have an Instagram prompt cup can't work out where I'm holding anything and also I... you what how can you tell the difference because the Instagram ones are this color Oh, I see. Right. The Patreon ones are this colour. Okay, fair enough. And so, what we'll do, although that one hasn't been folded enough, excuse me, shoddy folding, and what we thought we'd do is we would go through them and uh, they will create one list of five prompts. However, there is also another list of five prompts, which are the most popular uh, prompts that came up. And I thought you can decide, as it's going to be over two weeks, if you want to do... The popular prompts or you want to do the random prompts and then after those me and mum will tell you about our two extra prompts and one that's been inspired by somebody who I've seen is here already which is Cindy and um, so where did I see Cindy I'm scrolling back I'm scrolling back I, I saw Cindy there there she is yeah and and I'm, I'm also very excited to see that there's someone from Skeggy oh used to go there on the holidays years ago Helen yeah. Frost. Helen. <laughs> also, people know who we went to see Erasure. That's correct. We did. Yeah, we did. So, <clears throat> what we're going to do is, in order, so, oh, now, which should we go first with Patreon prompts or Instagram prompts? I think Patreon prompts probably. Are you ready, Mum? Are you prepared? Are you excited about book hybrid? I'm very excited. I, I tell you what, I, I am really excited about autumn book hibernation because I just think for me, it's probably reading season, big time. Um, it's my favourite season, full stop. Yeah. I just think curling up with a book at this time of year, as the nights start to draw in, um, is just perfect. So, yeah. I think. And also, fun. we should say, we'll be together a few times during that period because we're away together at the very beginning of it when I might do some book shopping to match the prompts because I'm going to be doing a big tour of Scotland over the week after we see each other um, and I don't want to have too much luggage. Um, but also, Mum and I are very excitingly going to be hosting behind the scenes at the Books Are My Bag Awards on November the 9th. <laughs> we are, and, and I can't get my head around it at all. Um... <laughs> <laughs> it's Mum's first gig. <laughs> is from pinching myself so much <laughs> we're going to be um backup host to claudia winkleman who we both love um and yeah there's going to be lots of uh interviews and behind the scenes with the winners and claudia and all sorts on our socials so keep your eyes peeled for that on november the 9th so there's lots of stuff going on and also there's one really big celebration during that period isn't there mum i don't know what you mean I'm just Hello, thinking. 
No. <laughs> Although I was going to make a link to witches, but I won't. Um, on the 6th of November, yeah. it is Louise's birthday. Okay, all right. I, d- <laughs> I don't really <laughs> want that as public knowledge. <laughs> Oh, okay. Sorry, but it's true. Um, I'm in denial, really. Well, actually, do you know what? I, 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 I embrace getting older. Every every year, I think I'm a year older than I actually am by my birthday. So it's like time travel. I feel like I'm going backwards. Although this year, I do know. I do know right now how old I am. Um, so it won't. <laughs> it won't be quite. God, stop laughing at me. <laughs> I'm not laughing at all, but I'm already getting people saying happy birthday for six to oh, eight. Well, very kind. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's it. So, autumn um, book of nation. Right. Now, I'm going to do this at random. This is the first prompt. Mum, you have to tell me when to stop. Stop. Oh, hang on. I wasn't doing it then. You're going to have to do it again. <laughs> stop. <laughs> Right, I've got this one. You're very giggly, Mummy. You're giddy. No, I'm just really happy. Okay. I'm, you know, it was not, it's so nice to the weekend with you and now seeing you again so quickly. It's lovely. You'll like this one. So the first prompt is going to be a book that references or riffs on a myth or legend. <gasps> Linda Taylor has happy chosen. Oh, Linda, I love that one. I think That's I've it. got it in mind as well. That's, oh, I should say, we've also chosen the group Read Already, which was why we were a little bit late, because I hadn't got it. Mum was better prepared than me. Right, now I'm going into the Instagram prompts. These, there's loads more of these, so it's quite difficult. Uh, <laughs> stop. Oh, hang on. No, I let go. I'm going to have to do it again. Sorry, I'm trying to do it as well so people now are not cheating. Stop. <clears throat> this is... Uh, a book featuring woods on the cover or set in the woods. The more remote, the better. Ooh. Currently reading four has suggested that one. That's a great one as well. These are brilliant. I love these. They're two fab ones. Right, okay. Now we're going back into the Patreon pot. Come on, Louise. <laughs> Stop. <clears throat> Read a book with orange, with an orange cover. Oh, and yes. I will say that was the most popular prompt that we got. That's interesting. So people obviously think orange is very autumnal. Um, so, so that's the third the one. <clears throat> right, on to the penultimate prompt, back into the ridiculous sleepful cup. <laughs> it's really nice that so many people have had so many ideas. Oh, now. No, so on the floor. Oh. I'm back. <laughs> I'm waiting for you to tell them to stop them. Stop. <laughs> one fell out as you said it, so we'll go with that one. Noise. Um, a cosy read. Oh, and lovely. That's written by um, Bookishly Owlish, Altrus Living, and Mr. Leigh Edwards. So there's that one. And then last but not least, is everyone on their seats? Everyone on their seats? <laughs> We've gone very quiet. Uh, stop. And then we have, oh, read a book with fall in the title. Ah, that's clever. I like that's, that's an American a, twist. That's great. That's yeah, a really good good. Prompt. So there we go. Those are the five prompts. Yeah. Now, I just realised, actually, we should explain to everybody what book hibernation really is. Um, oh, yeah. If you've not done it before, it's basically a week or now two weeks where we give you five prompts and you can read either a book that covers all five or go and read five books that cover each prompt and then there's bonus prompts as well which mum and I will do shortly um but to go through again the prompts for the randomly picked five are um a book that references or riffs on a myth or legend thank you Linda Taylor Books featuring woods on the cover or set in the woods, the more remote the better. Sorry, you can't see that, um, which was currently reading four. Read a book with an orange cover by Gemma. A cosy read by bookishly owlish, ultras living and Mr. Leigh Edwards. And then read a book with fall in the title, which I think might be one of my favourite prompts that I saw come in. Yeah. Um, Somebody's just 
mentioned actually. I think it's Laurie. I haven't got my glasses on. Sorry, Laurie. I think it says Laurie. Um, she's just mentioned that some Americans do actually say autumn. Oh. I didn't know. I thought it was, yeah, there we go. Oh, I didn't know that either. Yeah. I like that because actually fall, because it could be falling, it could be fallen, yeah. it could be. It could be a noun or a verb. Yeah. I think that's what you mean. <laughs> no, like I meant as in, it doesn't have to just be the word fall. It could be no. falling, falling. Okay. Right, so it could be part of it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it can't be fell though. It's not the same. Ah, right, okay. I'm just putting that right out there and making that little stipulation. <laughs> and then, um, <clears throat> don't ever do the lottery draw. I don't think I... <laughs> Don't do the <laughs> I don't think stop would cut it. <laughs> Thank you, Sue. I think we're safe, Sue, on that one. <laughs> I don't think we'll ever be called upon to do that. It's fine. <laughs> you never know, Mum, actually. My agent might have that lined up for me for all you know. Um, it doesn't. <laughs> Just to put that out. Only fall in the present tense is basically what we're saying. <clears throat> uh, is uh, from Rachel is reading and also... We have here. I'm also Canadian. You say fall or autumn. Mm. I wonder what you say in Australia. I think it's autumn. Mm. Don't know. So, I wonder what all the different words are for fall in all the different languages. This could go on for hours. Okay. Um, so <laughs> those are the five main prompts. Now, on top of those, we do before you can ask me and mum anything. Pretty much once we tell you what the group read is. Um, we have come up with two prompts each. So, Mum, what is your extra prompt? So, my extra prompt, and I, I don't know whether you're going to think this is too difficult. You might, you might get a bit cross with me here, okay. but I would, and I haven't, I haven't looked to see whether I've, you know, whether there is a book that covers this. So, this okay. is a bit of a challenge for me as well. But I really want a book with a bonfire in it <laughs> or on the cover. But I suppose we could we could adapt it so it was fire. Well, no, that came up. That was quite a popular one. Because autumn, you know, for me, is bonfire, fireworks, that lovely smell of cordite in the air. I just it was either that or toffee apples, and I thought that was a bit niche as well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Um, so we're going to put with a bonfire or fireworks on the cover or part of the story? Yes, please. Okay, so that's the reason. Twilight story. related. <clears throat> is that, is Twilight an international thing, though? Guy Fawkes? Do you know what? I don't think it is because um, when um, Alex, my ex-husband, was doing his visa test, we, you get like a pack about British history and things that you need to know. And there's like yeah. these things where you have to pick the ones that don't, that aren't true. Um, and I told him about, like, we were talking about the Guy Fawkes thing, and he thought yeah. it was false and a joke because he couldn't believe that was real. And I was like, oh, so do you not have Bonfire Night in Brazil? And he's like, no, of course not. We wouldn't have something <gasps> so daft. Somebody's just mentioned, honestly, I love this chat thread. Somebody's just mentioned that there is a bonfire in Return of the Native. And I, I just love that is my favourite Thomas Hardy novel. And also, and, and that the scenes around that, of, of her dancing around that bonfire are amazing. Um, so I, I'm just, yeah, I'd, I'd completely forgotten about that until you mentioned it. I, I love Return of the Native. If you haven't read it, give, read it, give it a go. It's brilliant. <laughs> um, people are saying bonfire night is definitely a British thing, but I like this. Um, Beth Bookman said, well, since you're curious, autumn in Turkish is sonbahar. That's Ooh, I like that. Yeah. Some far. I like that very much. Um, oh, also there's Bonfire of the Vanities. People are mentioning. Oh, yeah. I've read those, though. That's the annoying thing. I've read both of them. Quite books. a big book, that one. I won't be heading to that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's this one? I read my favourite book, To Kill a Mockingbird, whilst on holiday, sitting by a bonfire. Ah. Oh, nice. <clears throat> but it's not got bonfire in it, really. Um, so, <laughs> I don't think it has, anyway. Um my additional prompt, I did like this when you were talking about what you were picking. Oh, you've gone very robotic. I missed that. Am I back? Yes. Um, Sarah Reed said that my head was exploding when you were coming up with your prompt. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, here's a question, but we'll talk about this a little bit later. When will Louise's YouTube channel be up and running? 
So okay. questions a little bit, questions in a little bit. My additional prompt is going to be um, simply to read something non-fiction because it's non-fiction November coming up. And um, I have had one of the best non-fiction reading years so far this year and I'm looking forward to reading more. So I thought it'd be nice for us to do something non-fiction. So that's the thing, like you can have a non-fiction book with, an, with um, fall in the title or, well, cosy read non-fiction, not always the case. Um, or a non-fiction book with an orange cover, or about the woods. Actually, I think I've got one about the woods. Oh. Uh, yes, I have. Oh. <clears throat> Gossip from the Forest. Oh, that's intriguing. I've never seen that before. I love that title. It's the tangled roots of our forest and their fairy tales. Ooh. So that might be my non-fiction pick. Oh, Wait, Ents. Uh, Just thinking about Ents, trees that talk. Oh, no, in... I wouldn't be doing with that. Oh, they're wonderful. I love the Ents. <laughs> Hashtag favourite mythical creatures. <laughs> yeah. um, so there we go. That's the non-fiction. And then the eighth prompt, which is... Um, so those two are both optional. But the eighth prompt is... Um, and this is inspired by Cindy, who I mentioned earlier, because she sent in a prompt that I thought was a bit too hard <laughs> because it was a book about a jumper or a sweater because it's jumper season but I love the idea of jumpers you all know that I love a good jumper and so I thought what we could do is on our social media take a picture of us reading in our favourite autumnal spot in our favourite autumnal jumper no Christmas jumpers yet it's too soon but our favourite autumnal jumpers so there we go um Simon I just have to mention Jacqueline um McMenamin's just messaged that Bonfires have a very different, um, of a very different island, and and I certainly wouldn't want to offend anybody. Um, yeah, apologies because I hadn't thought of it from that perspective, which is very silly, really. Um, well, so, no, yeah. me because I've just been there, so I should have thought of that. But I think you can. It's an optional prompt, so it doesn't have to be a bonfire. It can be a fire, or it can be fireworks. So try and see it as something in that vein. We'll say that. So fires, bonfires, or fireworks. So yeah. Um, yeah, let's. Uh, that's a very good point. Thank you, Jacqueline. Um, <clears throat> so Leanne Pin Peacock says she's not really a fan of nonfiction. You wait, Leanne. I've got a video coming where I'll tell you about some nonfiction that I think everybody would absolutely love. Uh, people are joining, just saying, morning, Simon. Morning, HRH. So oh, now. On top of that, I thought I'd just let you know the five most popular prompts if you want to do those instead. And they were one, orange on the cover, two, leaves or trees on the cover, three, a spooky or witchy book, four, a book with fall in the title, and five, a cosy read. So actually, they're quite similar. But I'll put all of these in the description box below this video once it's gone live. So you'll be able to see and also put something out on social media. Um, but yeah. They're the two options. Now, shall we reveal the group read? Oh, yes. I need to find Do you want to do it? Sorry? I can do it. Do you want to do it? I've talked a lot. So long as you don't um, tell me off for putting the book in the wrong place, which you usually do. <laughs> and also, my lighting isn't as good as yours. You see, I can't do this left-right thing. I'm not a professional. Um, so, oh, my goodness. Can you all see that? No. Simon. No, it's good. Go the other way. There you go. There you go. Is that no. right? No, nearer you. Uh, nearer yeah. you. But... To me, to you, to me, to you. <laughs> I have real hand eye coordination issues. I'm really sorry, everybody. I can't do my lefts and my rights very well. Okay, so this is The Wolf Den um, by Elodie Harper. Um, I am fed up. <laughs> in a good way, of people banging on about how good this book is. And um, I've had it on my shelf for a while. I've been so tempted, but I've been busy reading other things. Um, and it's beautifully orange. Um, so I'm very excited to read this, um, especially because The Wolf Den is actually um, where, oh, my goodness. So uh, it's set in ancient Rome. That's the thing. And um, okay, is it? Pompeii and it folks yeah ancient Rome it's it's as in the period the historical period oh, sorry. But, no it's fine <laughs> it's fine uh, but okay. yeah uh, classicist that should be the name of your channel <laughs> <laughs> anyway um, <coughs> a young girl I think who's sold into 
slavery and prostitution, um, but it's got this, obviously, this ancient spin on it. I think it's going to be quite a page turner. Um, I think it's one of those novels where your eyes might open very, very wide um, at points at some of the details. It could be the Roman version of Fifty Shades a little bit in places, only a little bit. Um, and I'm, that's not to, um, to uh, denigrate anything about it at all. Uh, I just think it might be a little bit racy in parts. Um, but anyway, I am I am really excited to read it. And I absolutely love the cover. I think the cover's stunning, whoever designed that. Um, Do you think I'm it's just... going to be racy? I think so. Well, certainly from... Oh, yours is a little one. No, it's not. Or is it just well, that you're... <laughs> it's got a very big face. Thank you for pointing that out, Louise. Yeah, there we are. So, The Wolf Den, Elodie Harper. I can't wait to read this. I'm really excited for it. So, um, yeah, there we go. We picked it when we were in um, Foils in Birmingham on Sunday. Yeah, on Saturday, did. Saturday, not Sunday. Um, yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to this. And it's the, um, it's the, yeah, did you say it's the first in the series? Yeah, no, I didn't. I think it's a trilogy, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be a trilogy. And it's going to go to different parts of... What's the famous, oh, what's the famous area? Lupinar. Is that right? Lupinar? Yeah, I, I don't, that doesn't resonate with me. The, the word lupus is the Latin word for wolf. So that's yeah. wolfed. Yeah, exactly. So I, I presume that's the, the space that she's. It's the brothel, I think. Yeah. Um, See it, but actually, you mentioned that it's going to be a bit racy. Somebody did, and it's one that we didn't pick, but somebody did have the prompt of pumpkin spice, something spicy, or with spice in the title. So we're kind of getting that one right now, anyway. So there we are. Um, although Jacqueline is now, she said, No apologies. Wait, I've just lost it. It was really funny. Jacqueline says, No apologies needed, although Simon was in Omar, where I am, and only had a kebab for his dinner. If I'd <laughs> Come and he could have had a few boiled spuds at I oh. The best dirty kebabs I've had in my life. So That's another autumn sure thing, it's... baked potatoes. Are they an autumnal thing? Oh yeah. I suppose so. I always think of like toffee apples and pumpkins. <laughs> um, um right. Now, if any of you have got any questions, because all of that will be below, do let us know. Um, the first one that came up already, oh, hang on. Well, let's head to that one in a minute. But the first one came up was, um, what's going on with Louise's channel? Louise, what's going on with your channel? Well, as you well know, Simon. Yeah, I've, I know, but they don't know. <laughs> I've, um, I've already recorded some bits and pieces. I am, I am, um, I'm one of these people who doesn't want to do something until I've totally got my head around what I want it to be. Um, so this is the hesitation. I'm almost ready, and I think it, it's going to be launched very, very soon. Um, so yeah, there's a, there's a bit of an issue with the name. So I've got ideas of I don't I don't want to spill any beans, as it were. Um, but I've I've got ideas about how I'm going to use some of the content, but I'm still struggling with with the name of the channel. So and and it really matters. Name, didn't you? But it, yours isn't just going to be books necessarily. Exactly. So, so, so I've, I've I've gone to uh, I've gone to this expert that you might know, who's quite good at at sort of digital communication, digital media stuff, and I've I've asked him a few questions over the weekend. So I'm still sort of mulling over some of the the what I'm sure is excellent advice that I've been given. It is, although you did send me one suggestion today that I got, and I thought no. <laughs> oh, I like to see this is the trouble it's like you know for those of you who've ever given birth um Simon's wondering where this is going you know never ever ever tell anyone what you're considering to be the name for your future child because you'll always get oh, somebody to roll their eyes or or whatever it's a bit no. like that. But as your firstborn did tell you, speaking of birth, um, that um, you have to, like, if I'd known that my channel wouldn't necessarily have been just about reading and that had gone into this sort of yeah. vloggy area that I didn't didn't exist when I started, I might not have necessarily called my channel Savage Reads because I don't just read. And also, actually, if anything, sometimes Savage Reads can be a little bit limiting and constricting because people just think, oh, Lord, he does his read. There's not any other strings to his bow. So when suddenly I'm randomly talking about pop music all the time on Instagram, people are like, what? 
<laughs> Where's that come from? And Simon, I absolutely can't wait because uh, I'm a very keen gardener. <laughs> he can't wait for that. And I, I also do a lot of singing. <laughs> no, there can't be any of that. Well, so... <laughs> So obviously, oh, no. you know, a, few, a few avenues, a few directions, I might decide to take it. <laughs> well, well anyway. Books and, and, you know, that's what I really want to do. But if anybody's got any suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Polite ones only, please. <laughs> you are. Polite ones only. Yeah, polite ones only. Um, Cindy is shocked that we thought that, her, well, we, Mum didn't, I did, thought that the prompt was too hard. I did. I couldn't think of many books with jumpers in or I'll books with jumpers on the cover I'm so sorry Cindy and I love a jumper but I think you've created and an even like we've your ideas in my brain and combined into this joy of jumpers where an autumn jumpers is going to be a winner um somebody's recommended oh this lovely Mike can I recommend and now for the good news by Ruby Wax subtitled to the future with love a wonderful piece of non-fiction with lots of laughs and lovely positive news Bookish Mike used to have a channel and he should bring it back. That's all I'm saying. Uh, books is excited for an outfit challenge. I was going to say, here's another one. If we have to read books that are just orange, at some point we should only wear orange and put a picture of that on our social media. There's another one. Um, campfires, yep, they're allowed. Don't worry about campfires. Um, Linda Rossborough, Tana French's first Dublin Murder Squad book is Into the Woods. It is indeed. I threw that book across the room. So there's a... Uh, Any particular um, reason? <clears throat> Leave I that just there. thought the made me so cross, I couldn't even. Yeah. I don't want to spoil it. But I just, I didn't feel that you got any resolution. Um, uh, and if Grace of GK Reads watches this, she will be swearing in at me, probably. She absolutely loves that book. Um, how about a fireplace? Are we allowing a fireplace in that prompt, Mum? I'd say no, because that feels like Christmas. Yeah, and also it's that whole thing of a fire outdoors. Yeah. A controlled one, obviously, you know. Um, Shell Holson Baker said, campfires, just please, no forest fires. California forest is still burning. But that said, I just want to say there are some incredible non-fiction books about the forest fires in Australia that are really, I mean, they're horrific, but the hope at the end of them is really, really powerful. So that's something that I would just mention with that one uh then we have oh no we've had that about mickey kebab nobody needs to hear more about that um then we have oh so this is a question from helen frost are you interested in the goodreads challenge this year and do you have a goodreads account louise so um goodreads is the app isn't it yeah yeah i do i do have the app um and i do um the reading challenge in terms of how many books I read is the one with prompts as well. No, I it's just with... <coughs> sorry, sorry. I started I using... oh, it's not COVID. Last oh. year was my first year, and I I challenged myself to read fifty two books, one for each week, and I just managed it. I fin I think I finished the last one the day before. What would it be? The thirtieth of January. Um. And this year, I think yeah, I'm going to, yeah, I've set, set, um, oh, yeah, 30th of December, not the 30th of January. <laughs> oh, crikey. Anyway, so um, so this year I set it at 52 again, but actually I think I'm going to, I'm, I'm, I think I've only got one more book to read and I'm there. So, uh, but that, I, I really like that. I like and I like being able to see that bookshelf. And you've got another app that you like. Yeah, you I've left Goodreads because um, it's owned by Amazon and I felt a bit <laughs> icky about it, which is odd because I listen to books on Audible. So I think it's just like which bit of your enemy you want to go to use for good <laughs> in a way, I guess, I suppose. Yeah. Um, but, um, yeah, the reason I didn't um, – sorry, we've got the most amazing autumnal sky outside. I can't show you all, but it's literally – purple with a line of pink and then purple. Oh, it's ridiculous and um, it keeps distracting me. also i'm aware how mad my thing makes my <laughs> miss that you glitched i'm amazed how mad this makes my eyes oh yeah it is a bit weird um anyway and um, yeah i love goodreads because it's part of amazon and i'm now on storygraph but i have a private account because um without sounding ridiculous um, I felt that I, because I share what I'm reading so publicly, 
I sometimes need a space where I can go and like keep a diary of what I'm reading privately because like sometimes I've got to read for prizes or whatever. So I've sort of gone, yeah, I've I've dropped that. And I don't think I'll be doing a challenge in terms of how many books to read next year. I'm going back to basics in 2022. I've had this conversation with mum already. Um so yeah, anyway, that was just my um thoughts on that one. Um fabulous. Linda Rosberg has already planned to read the wolf den. Great choice. Oh good. Um then we've got, oh, Saucy Roman sounds right up my street. <laughs> I agree. Oh, no, I've lost it now. Hang on. Mum, talk while I uh, while I try and find where I was. What have you lost? I don't know what you've lost. I've lost um, the, where I was in the water. Graph, so that's good. You've lost what, love? I've lost and no, I've found it now. Um, oh. People are holding that book at the library, so that's great. Um, planning to read The Wolf Den by Louise's elevate, but Louise's elevator pictures sold me. Someone's oh. waiting to come in the library. Evie's seen the wolf done about a lot. Mm. Um, just so you know, I don't think that book out is out in Canada. Oh, sorry, Sarah, but um, you can get it on Book Depository. Just mentioning the good sides of the evil place that we don't speak of um but um baked potatoes are a year round thing surely i agree with that one miss fix mm -hmm. don't we used, to, we used to warm our hands with them and we had a bonfire uh, yeah hrh is filming people are excited uh we need to hear louise sing now not right now thank you she can do that right now. Now. <laughs> she hasn't she hasn't done our warm-up exercises <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh no, the wolf den isn't out until the US next year. Sorry, everyone, this could be interesting. I forget about that. Um, Cindy loves to jumper too and is excited for the photo shoot. I'm pleased, Cindy. We've got there, we've got there. Jumpers on the cover is a holiday romance. See, holiday romance that's Christmas, not autumn. I think, if you mean holiday, I guess. And um, very much looking forward to your channel, Louise. So, am I. Um, <laughs> Shout of help is awash with orange jumpers at the moment. Uh, so there we go. Um, then we've got Storygraphs has Storygraph has lots of prompt based challenges in addition to just the total number of books. Oh, that's really interesting. I did notice when I went on Storygraph, you can um, <clears throat> it will recommend you certain books based on what you read, but it does it in a really clever way. And I did think it would be quite good fun to do a vlog where I read like four recommendations off Storygraph and say actually if it is a matchmaker or not. Um, so, uh, yeah, people are saying that I should switch to Scribd. I have heard about Scribd and I went and tried it. I just found it very confusing. It's like a independent version of Audible. Um, yeah. And then also someone has mentioned, bor lots of people are mentioning BorrowBox actually, which is a um, app you can get from your library to listen to audiobooks for free and libraries are very important oh, well, I, um, I did not know about that at all we've got there's almost a full moon tonight and it's fabulous lovely okay this is a nice question Sarah if you want to know do you have any other reading goals for 2022 apart from well I don't even have that number one this year no I mean I, I'm reading a lot of YA fiction at the moment I'd forgotten how much I love it um we were talking about this at the weekend. I've got this terrible feeling. Well, I, I just think often it's it's really well written and, and usually, you know, there's quite a, a sort of hefty plot. Um, but also I think it I think it it's a sort of nostalgia thing. We were talking about this, weren't we, Simon? I think um it makes me kind of rem it reminds myself of the experience of reading at that sort of age. Um and also, I suppose I work with teenagers, and it's 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 wonderful to sort of see reflected in those novels the kind of things that they're or nonfiction, the kind of things that they're you know interested in at the moment. So uh, I really recommend it. So I, I suspect I'll be reading um, more YA fiction next year. Yeah. I have no plans next year. The sky, honestly, is so ridiculous. I want to shout out Chris and go, Oi, go and take a picture of the sky. Just one second, I'm going to do that right now. I'm just messaging him and telling him to go and take a photo of the sky. Um, go and take a picture of the sky, Poor please. Chris. You are. Poor Chris. He loves that. 
Um, what was I going to say? Um, so, yeah, so my aims are, I don't have any. Obviously, well, hopefully, me and Mum will read the Women's Prize long list together. Oh, again. yeah, well, that's so. Um, in terms of any goals, I think I just want to get back to basics a little bit more. Like I said, that's what it is for me. Mm. Yeah, back to basics. So, And also, I think I might have an attitude of, in general, about everything, less is more. Hmm. So, I'd like to, yeah. I really want to read um, Trollope as well. I really want to read the Palace series, but I don't know. I can't. I might. I, I might start that next year. I don't know. Something I've been wanting to do for a while. The only thing I'd like to actually is these books behind me here are my backlist books, and I really want to make a big dent into those next year because that's something I'm always reading more contemporary and stuff for work, and I think because I just want to get the balance better. So. Earlier this year, I would say my reading for work was 30% and the rest of it was what I want. And I would say now my reading for work is 70 to 80% and then the rest is what I want. And I just need to get that balance better. I'm not complaining because I'm getting to do some amazing stuff. But um, yeah, I just want to get that better. Somebody's asking what you mean by back to basics. So like, <clears throat> I don't know, just sort of going back to reading more by whim and not sort of I think by accident and this is like not to put you off anything but sometimes you can end up reading for your channel not mm. the other way around right and I think as well you know just um I, don't, I keep saying <laughs> every year I say I'm not going to judge another prize because that means that you're reading masses for work obviously there's a couple that if they asked I would do it but I think really I just sort of want to go back to I don't know. I look at some of the reading I used to do before YouTube and probably when I was blogging, and it was a lot more whim based than it is now. Mm. <coughs> so, um, yeah, if that makes any sense. Yeah. Deborah Dudley is, oh my days, I'm so excited that I've managed to catch a live. You have, Deborah, and thank you for doing it. Uh, Jenny Guinevere is back, in, back from work in time. She's very thrilled. I'm just going to put this up. I'm not saying these words. I'm just leaving that there for you because that's what's <laughs> come from someone else, not me. Uh, so we have that one. And I've got to go back to catch up with all the comments because I lost them again. Um, Vern, oh, this sounds nice. Wrap a sweet potato in foil and toss it into the campfire. Be prepared. Girl Scout Guide. Can you put yeah. um, marshmallows in it? I've heard yeah. marshmallows in yeah. sweet potatoes are really nice. Oh, with sweet potato? Oh, I don't know. Oh my god, this is a brilliant channel name. Her Reading Highness H R H. <laughs> Rachel's reading. I love that. I might get into trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda's correct to me. Autumn romance is hay rides, pumpkin patches, and many, many sweaters. Oh, I'm sure there's plenty of hay rides in a romance novel. That's all I'm saying. Uh, so yeah, a lot oh. of people think that her reading highness is great. Somebody's um, mentioned Katie Campbell's mentioned um, a, a book by Geraldine McCochran. I absolutely adore that woman's writing, and I haven't read this one. Where the world ends. Oh, I'm trying uh, to catch up with the comments. She's brilliant. She's wonderful. Yeah, that's. <coughs> I'm so sorry, I've got this stupid. You're all cough. right, though. Yeah, I just got this horrible cough. Um, I've had a test this morning. It isn't that. Um. Mm -hmm. So, um, <laughs> this is a very good question. <laughs> How orange are we going for <laughs> the orange cover prompt? Whole cover or any bit of orange? I'd say it needs to be 40% upwards. Yes, I think that's fair. 40% orange, that's what I would say. We won't um, be getting cooler out. <laughs> Why does that sound so funny? I don't know. <laughs> Oh dear. Um, so what else have we got? Oh, Louise is reading YA, My Heart. People are very excited oh, about it. Yeah. Um, oh, somebody's excited for the long call based on Anne Cleve's book to come out onto TV. Oh, I read that one. That's the first of Anne Cleve's new series with a queer detective protagonist. That's quite exciting. Um, <laughs> I like this. A book with a sheep on the cover. That's basically a jumper in the making. <laughs> Yes, but I think if it's the sheep, it's got to be orange. <laughs> <laughs> now, Mum, I don't know how you feel about this. I think it's a generational thing, Louise, as I also associate baked potatoes with autumn and ah. bonfire, and they were not a year-round thing in my childhood, the 70s. Oh, 
Yeah, well, that's that's exactly it. I am your peer, and uh, yeah, I agree with that. Simple, a simple thing. Jane McDonald's so late. She just finished work. You're never late, Jane. Nobody can be late to a live. That's what's so joyous about it. Um, then we've got, I agree with the nostalgic aspect of why it's why I read Jodie Piku and Sarah Dessen. Still, even as a 30 plus year old, I remember having a soft spot for both of those authors as a teenager. Yeah. I would like to read more authors that I read when I was a teenager, but I think I'm not a big rereader. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, We've done What Do I Mean by Back to Basics. Belle's book says, Why Fantasy is my comfort read at the moment. Very much enjoying a beauty and the beast retelling. Well, that would have been perfect for a book that references or riffs on uh, myths or legends or fairy yeah. tales, because that is more than myths or legends. Or I think there's a YA version of, I think it's Cinderella that I've seen around as well, that I quite fancy reading. But are fairy the... tales, do we count fairy tales as myths? Fairy tales to me are spring. Yeah, maybe. So, but um, and I should say, Belle, you're reading that right now, so that's not book hibernation or anything. I, that just made me question whether we should read a fairy tale or not, or whether that counted. Mm -hmm. Um, so what else have we got? Um, Sue's Prime says she too has Anthony Trollope on the TBR for twenty two. So we've got that one. Uh, any more questions? <laughs> Anyone's got? Any more for any more? Oh, here's another one. Wordery provides free worldwide delivery if anyone's looking for an Amazon alternative. Thank oh, you very okay. much, EVM. That's know that either. This is very popular, her reading highness. The only problem is she's not just about the reading. That's what she's told me. Oh, no. Rambling. What? Rambling highness. Maybe. <gasps> Rambles is really good. Yes, because it's walking and reading and talking. Yeah, that's what I mean. Talking. But Savage Rambles sounds too like Savage Reads. <clears throat> but also Rambles sounds as though I don't quite know what I'm doing. <laughs> Which is probably about right. <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't kick that suggestion out, actually, if I'm honest, Louise. <laughs> 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 um Sarah Reed says most fairy tales have witches have witches have it's lots of alternative uh, things which should count. Yep, that's a very, very, very good point. Okay, any more suggestions for a channel for mum that isn't her reading highness, which I do think is amazing. And you know what? Tom uh, would love that as well. Tom would think that was a great room. And we should say, um, I've actually had some emails asking after Tom. Tom's fine. He's just stopped doing social media for a while. Um, yeah. So who knows? He may return in 2022. Who can say? Who can say? A rambling savage. I think there's plenty of those in our family. Um, you should see when we all get together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, or actually, I think often it can be savage mumbles. Yeah, we're all a bit... <laughs> and we also, <laughs> together, talk very fast. Yeah. So, um, right, here we go. Here's a question. Um, do either of you have any upcoming releases for 2022 that you're dying to get your hands on? I already have some. Um, I've got the new Joanna Cannon and the new Hanyi Anagahara. They're the two of my like most anticipated books of 2022. Mum? At the moment, no, because I'm just so busy trying to catch up on all these wonderful books that I still haven't got around to reading this year. I just seem to have a massive TBR at the moment, so... I'm trying not to look forward too much at the moment. Um, it's difficult, isn't it? Because I just I've just got loads and loads at the moment that I really want to read. So I'm, um, yeah, I'm feeling a bit behind with myself at the moment. I think at the moment I feel behind in the fact that I've not read loads of books I thought I would read this year, and maybe over the coming weeks that's what I'm going to try. And I might look for books that I've already got on my shelves. That although I just said I was going to buy books for these prompts. Anyway, never mind. Um, we have some recommend. We have some uh, channel ideas. Louise Lit. Yes. <laughs> this I really like. Classic ramblings. <laughs> That's great. Um, then we have. <clears throat> we'll have a couple more questions. Then we've got to go because it's half past six already. I know. Um, I'll burn my dinner. <laughs> where did the time go? 
Um, oh, Cindy just says, just observing the cover of the Wolf Den satisfies some of the other prompts. It does. It's got orange on the cover. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think what other ones it's got. I'm just looking. It's not got a fall in it. Cozy read, possibly. Um, well, it depends whether you're doing which prompts you do. Anyway, but yes, it's definitely got orange on the cover. That's definitely. And also, we stopped doing that thing where we tried to find a book with all the prompts on it because it was just too hard. Um, and it ends up actually becoming harder to pick than stuff that you just really, really want to read, if you know what I mean. So here's a question. Um, we've got some more questions, actually. Let me just check. Um, Janie Edwards, strange question for me. Do either of you read aloud to yourselves or am I just very, very strange? Um, I don't read aloud to myself. Um, I do enough of that at work. <laughs> <laughs> I read, you know, I read obviously to, well, not obviously, but I do read to the kids at school. So, um, I so do I on occasion, but it's very rare. As if it's so, for example, um, what's the name of the author who, or oh, Irish author, Ema McBride. Um, I read aloud the start of both of her books because there's a rhythm to them because they're, they're sort of prose rather than. Do you know what I mean? That they're almost poetry in the way they are. So you have to get into a rhythm. So I decided to start off by reading those and that worked really, really well for me. Did, um, you, did you read them with an Irish accent? No, I did not. <laughs> I don't think you were trying hard enough then. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sarah Reads wants to know if either of you read any, read any spooky books during autumn or do those kind of books not appeal? I love a spooky book. I'm not so keen. I'm not a big ghost story fan um i don't know why that is i'm afraid i think maybe it's got something to do with christmas carol i was put off that at school sadly um so and you're not a big fan of the woman in black no i'm not um i did love michelle paver's book um that's a ghost story set in scandinavia i think <coughs> she's done two ghost stories i think yeah that was very good um but no, I'm not. Oh, oh, and I love, I love Jess Kidd. You know, she, she, the way she writes about the supernatural. But it's one of those things that I'm not mad keen on. I wouldn't, wouldn't gravitate towards a ghost story. I do really like ghost story. Um, and but also actually, I'm trying horror at the moment. I'm almost finished with me and Melanie's pick for book club. I don't have it near me. Which is, oh no, I do. It's here. One second caller. Um, <laughs> leave the world behind. And um, it's very, it's scary, but, but not in a ghost scary way, just in a, oh my God, that's scary way. It's really tense and I can't read it when it's gone dark. Mm. So mm. that's kind of a good, a good ghost. But I do, I love, and I think one of the reasons I love ghost stories so much is my great uncle Derek, who's also mum's uncle Derek, he used to memorise Conan Doyle ghostly tales for me when we went on walking holidays and he used to read them so well and memorize them so well that I just really really loved them so um yeah right now people are saying that they love um where is it people say they love Michelle Paver oh this is a good recommendation I have that short story collection called The Haunting Season which I'm intrigued by I wanted to get that this weekend because it had Jess Kidd, Elizabeth McNeil, um Kieran Maud Hargreaves you what? You couldn't find it, could you? you, no, you that's because it's out on Thursday. Ah. <laughs> so I got that wrong. Um, yeah, so. Oh, and also people are saying, yes, reading poetry aloud. Um, yeah, I, I, I think it needs to be read aloud. Read with Louise is another channel suggestion, although it's not just yeah. reading. So come yeah. gardening with Louise or just <laughs> dot, dot, dot with Louise. <laughs> What was it Chris called? Chris came up with one like Louise and my love because he's like every time she could start with my love. So I said, I've never heard my mother say my loves to anyone. <laughs> I don't think it's I don't think it's a phrase I use, but maybe yeah, I do. I don't think it is either. Um so yeah, anyway, right. Any final questions before me and mum need to head off? Um, because we do, frankly, because we've both got husbands who need our attention. Um, <laughs> I have no idea yet. Oh. No, he's, he works at the brewery today, so he's not back yet. Uh, I, wonder, okay. I wonder what he might be doing. 
Imagine a lift on a tractor. <laughs> could be what's going on there. Um, someone just said dot 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 with Louise could be very touchy. <laughs> Oh, and actually, we had one really good question. I can't. Find it. <laughs> um, we had one really good question. I can't find it now. But oh, here it is. What's the definition of a cozy read? That's a really good one to end on. Mum. Well, I, for me, um, I think it's. I, th I think for me, it's a book that is a page turner. So it's not to do with the subject matter. It's a book where I can curl up and, and absolutely exclude the rest of the world because I just want to keep turning those pages. That's that's what I would associate with coziness. I think mine's similar to that, although I think a really cozy read for me is a book. So there's two types, actually. One is a book that I just know I'm going to love, like in terms of like an Agatha Raisin mystery. I've read most of those, so I know I'm just going to love whatever one in the series I head to. But there's also, <clears throat> and they're very rare, those books that I call books that give you a book tingle. Mm. So you start reading it and it's like you get a warm feeling through you that you just know you're in safe hands and you're going to have a brilliant read. And that that's yes. just going to be um, kind of, yeah, it's, it's going to be a guaranteed like fab read. They're what I would say are cozy reads to me but everyone's going to have a different interpretation of cozy read, which is why it's such a good prompt actually because my cozy read might be very different to it. like some people love crime for a cozy read yeah because <clears throat> you can be safely scared and and sort of thrilled and chilled in the comfort of your chair i guess it's a book that makes you want to curl up with it yes i think I that's right that's kind of what you would what you would call it now i will say we've got some um uh this isn't the type suggestion of a title for your channel, Louise. It's just Katie Books saying, oi, oi, <laughs> savage, saviloids. Although, Kieran, you have spelt both of our surnames wrong and we're offended. So uh, outrageous. But um, one thing that um, has come up in terms of a channel name, which I actually really like, Classically Louise. No, she's not keen. I, I do like it. No, she's not. I know my mother. And that face was like, no. Nah. <laughs> I'm, I'm taking it in. I also had a sneaky biscuit before we started this, and I keep getting little bits, so I'm sorry I'll keep doing that. I don't um, think that's true. I, I know your face, and that was it. Mm. No, there was a hesitation, because I don't think there's anything classical about me. <laughs> classical civilization. I know, but as in, like, I think it would be misleading. I, I would associate that word with somebody elegant. <laughs> I haven't got an elegant bone in my body, as you well I don't know. know. What you mean? I get all my elegant genes from you. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm so renowned for being elegant too. <laughs> so, <clears throat> yes, well, quite. Um, what about in situ with Louise? I like the word in situ. I do. I like the Latin there. Very good. What's in situ mean in Latin? Just in position. Okay, that covers a lot. Mm. Oh, somebody said this is now your channel name, The Sneaky Biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I, I, knew, this. I, I knew this the chat would provide. You've had oi oi, sa savage saploys. <laughs> you... Somebody else, I'm sure, came up with something earlier that I, I caught. Oh, there's R and R with Louise, which I really quite like. But there was something else so earlier on, I can't remember what it was, but something caught my eye and I thought, oh, that's good. Well, that's helpful that you can't remember what it is. Yeah, I'm really sorry. <laughs> Clearly, I can't multitask. I'm just trying to desperately go back through the chat to see what it could be. But I can't say. What's Read, that like Louise. <clears throat> that's another one that came up. Yeah. Um, how long ago was it, Mum? Can you no, remember? That? It could have been an hour ago. I've no idea. Well, all I'm going to say is in the comments below, if you've got titles for mums, and do include classic Louise, classically Louise, even though there was a. Um, <laughs> You'd be more than welcome. I, even Hannah spotted it. You definitely weren't solving it. <laughs> so I think, I think there we go. Oh, you've got Cozy Corner with Louise. You've got Louise at Leisure. Classical. That, I quite like that. The classical biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, 
<laughs> that could be uh, that could be the classic biscuit. I don't know what you've started now, Mum, with biscuits, but that's uh, that's now what you're associated with books and biscuits. Oh, um, so turning the page with Louise, that's quite nice. That's um, nice. So see, suddenly they're all they're all coming out of the woodwork, and uh, yeah. you get recommendations. Yeah, really cool. I do appreciate this because it it's. I mean, what's in a name? Well, clearly an awful lot. Well, also. <laughs> You, something that you could do as well is on Instagram, yeah. you could ask in your stories for people to suggest something. <laughs> That'd be interesting to say. Uh, I, I, I might try that. <coughs> I can't wait to see the results of that one. Or you could take a picture of your bookshelf and just ask it in a photo on your stories. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Because I'm sure people with books and biscuits, people are saying isn't a bad name. I, mm -hmm. I don't associate you with biscuits that much, though. No, I'm not a massive biscuit eater. It was quite unusual, which is probably. Or maybe the sneaky reference is why I don't associate you with biscuits because we never see her having one no, in uh, plain sight. It's always <laughs> sneaky. <laughs> so, anyway, oh, somebody suggested um, no hobnobbing. <laughs> Kieran, I'm into a little bit of trouble there. I don't. Yeah. <coughs> Kieran, like this is my mother. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> um, and on that note, we're going to go. But thank you all so much for joining us. I will make sure that there is a list in the description box of the different prompts, be it the random. Se in fact, actually, maybe we should just do the random selection and not the other selection. What do you think? I, you've really confused me now. I thought we were doing the ones that you picked out the pots. Yeah, but I also had a choice of the top five that people had voted for. But I think these are really lovely. Yeah, well, that's enough. I think. I think otherwise, it's a bit daunting. So you don't want to laugh because they feel they've got too much to do. You don't. I was just wanting to give people two different options, but actually, quite a lot of them are in the same one. So, right, I will leave the five prompts below that have been suggested by you, lovely lot. And the prompt from mum, the prompt from me, and the prompt that Cindy inspired about getting your autumnal jumpers out in your autumnal cosy reading area. And then, um, <laughs> sorry, I'm just laughing because, oh no, not that one. Um, <clears throat> I know what you're laughing at. Simon's mum, Louise. <laughs> oh, we had a discussion about that on Sunday. That's all I'm Can you saying. Imagine what my other children might say to that. <laughs> So, uh, yeah. Anyway, like an eruption of sibling rivalry there. I think. <laughs> Things there won't because they all know I've won. Is that right? Savage silence. So, oh, no original savage. I don't think so. Yeah. So, like um, the as, a, <laughs> as a concept. <laughs> Oh, or Savage Reads Mum, that's another one. Or Mother Savage and another original Savage. We'll all move on now. That's where we're ending. So uh, we will all catch up with you, probably with a live, when we are together at the beginning of book hibernation, autumn book hibernation. It might even be on Mum's channel, not mine. So we shall see if it's there by then. Um, oh. But yeah, I... Uh, Hope you all have a lovely rest of day slash evening slash whatever. And um, I'm just going to pop another one. There we go. Um, oh, and also, thank you very much. Somebody's coming to see Bernadine in conversation with me in Liverpool next week. I can't blink and wait either. But um, yeah, it's been lovely. It's been a treat. Thank you, Mum. And uh, I'll leave all of the um, the prompts and everything in the description box so that if you come back to this later, you'll be able to choose where you'll be able to start looking for which books you like. But um, until next time, it's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from me. I really enjoyed that. Thank you, everybody, for all your comments. We'll speak to you soon. I've started to say happy reading on Sky Arts Book Club, so I'm going to say it now. Happy reading. Bye. Bye. <laughs>